allowed to cast a ballot tonight. The view of the 2024 presidential race will get a little bit clearer after voters in these states cast their ballot. There are 854 Republican delegates up for grabs. On the Democratic side, there are 1,420 delegates up for grabs. You see Virginia there mm -hmm. has already been called for Donald Trump by NBC. But it's not just the presidential nominees who will chart the nation's political future. All eyes are also on North Carolina's governor race. As Democrats try to fend off a Republican trifecta, GOP lawmakers already control both chambers of North Carolina's legislature. Five Democrats and three Republicans are seeking the office. Incumbent Democratic Governor Roy Cooper is term limited and cannot seek re-election. North Carolina Attorney General Josh Stein has emerged as the party's front runner while on the Republican side, North Carolina Lieutenant Governor Mark Robinson leads the pack. Remember, WYFF News 4 is your home for Commitment 2024 coverage. All night we will bring you continued coverage live on the air and right here all the results coming in from Super Tuesday. We are now going to take you back to Inside Edition. Good evening, it's 8 p.m. on this Super Tuesday. Polls have closed now on the East Coast, and that, of course, includes North Carolina. In North Carolina, polls closed at 7.30, and former President Donald Trump has been declared the projected winner in North Carolina. With that, he will pick up the 74 delegates there. Staying in North Carolina, NBC News projects Republican candidate for Governor Mark Robinson for the Republican side. On the Democratic side, Josh Stein is leading the pack. You see there with 67% of the votes in, but only 3% reporting so far, but he is leading the pack. Let's take a look at the Democratic primary for uh, pres president at this point. For governor, it looks like uh, Cheryl Brooker Booker, rather, is uh, leading at this point with only 3% of the vote counted so far. Yep. And here's a look at the states voting today across the country. After we show you this, Biden with 90% of the vote and 3% in, but he has already been declared the winner there in North Carolina as well. So let's look at the big map. And you can see here, these are all the states participating in Super Tuesday. The green states are the ones that have yet to to have those polls closed and the votes be counted. We're gonna use gold to represent any states that Nikki Haley wins. Right now, Trump, the red states there, Virginia and North Carolina, those are the two states so far tonight that he has been declared the projected winner. Remember, WYFF News 4 is your home for commitment 2024 coverage. All night, we will continue to bring you live coverage on air and online as results come in from Super Tuesday. And those results will continue to run at the bottom of your screen. We now go to Night Court. Good evening. It's Super Tuesday, the biggest election day of the year until the one in November. <laughs> That's right. 15 states and one territory have their presidential primary elections today. North Carolina, one of those states, former President Donald Trump has been declared the winner in North Carolina. With that win, he picks up 74 delegates. On the Democratic side, President Joe Biden took home the win. He picked up 116 delegates. Here is a look at the states voting today across the country, looking at the Republican primaries. The green colored states have not been called yet. We will use gold for any state that former South Carolina Governor Nikki Haley wins. And right now, Vermont is pretty much tied. So we will change that color here in a second, but we will use red for any state that represents a projected win for Donald Trump. And you can see all those red states there. Turning now to the governor's race in North Carolina, NBC News projects Republican candidate for Governor Mark Robinson for the Republican side. He is currently the lieutenant governor. On the Democratic side, Josh Stein has been declared the winner. Stein is the current attorney general. For North Carolina. Remember, WYFF News 4 is your home for Commitment 2024 coverage. All night we will continue to bring you live coverage on air and online as results come in from Super Tuesday. And results will continue to run at the bottom of your screen. For now, let's go to The Voice.